Hey, how's it going? We're going to do a little walkthrough of Abrams Creek Campground here in the Great Smoky Mountains. This is, uh, I think, the smallest one that they have. I have reviews on all of them, just kind of walkthroughs, or I will be <laughs> soon. But uh, I've got a few up there now, but there'll be more coming up. So anyway, let's turn around. Now, this is a one one lane road, so this only has 16 campsites and it's not really recommended for RVs. There was a guy with a, a pop-up in here when I uh, showed up this morning. This is my first time staying here. And uh, so, yeah, you can see how, how there's not really many pull-offs. There's like a mile back from the road. And uh, it is twisty and windy to get up here. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. So it, uh, if you're taking that uh, Happy Valley is one of the roads you'll take up. It goes back and forth, and we're here in October, uh, end of October 2022, and it closes November 1st. So I'm here, uh, this is October 30th, so uh, one more day and it will be closed. And uh, we'll walk through all these campsites, and you can determine which one you would like to stay at. And I'll show you some things here, and you can pause the video if you need to. You have to do your reservations on the internet, which I did. Uh, just, uh, there's a, uh, this creek, so it's just telling you not to eat the smallmouth bass. There's a fishing regulations, if you don't know. All right, and now we will continue on. There's number 16 over there, but it's just a small loop. Like, these are primitive sites, so... We'll go through here and see what we got going on. Watch us some 4K if you can. Just pull it up on your smart TV if you want. This is site number one. All these sites have basic tent pad. See there? And just like any other ones in the Smokies, they'll have this fire ring with a grill grate on there that you could use and a picnic table so that's all they've got there's no electrical hookups on this like I said it's primitive so that was site number one and I'll show you my site pretty pretty soon it's got a this is number two it's got a a pretty nice uh, really close to water so this two, same thing. It's a little farther off the water. So um, site three over here has a longer, longer kind of driveway type deal. In case you're uh, wanting to do, actually use a pop up, I wouldn't recommend. I would recommend tent camping only, and that's what they say. There, you're allowed to bring that stuff in there, but they recommend you don't. So uh, like, again, this is number three. So you can see how close it is to the water. Let's get go down here right to the water and we'll see. It's not fast moving. It hadn't rained a bunch of rain last night, but you can see here it's October, so we still got I think the uh prime of the leaves is gone, but we still have some a little bit of color in here, and it's really peaceful just to sit down here next to the creek and enjoy the water. It's not fast moving. There's a little bit of moving down there, but these campsites next to the water are pretty silent compared to like uh say elkmont so i will be rating these uh like the top i think there's eight of them if i'm right i'll be rating those in the spring so you can see which one i think is the best campsite depends on what you like, like i said there's only 16 campsites here so this is number four we got number five over here. Five is pretty close to the water. Look at that, right off the edge there. <laughs> kind of nice. And this is the only trash cans they got here, so... Since there's so few sites, we'll just have to use these right here. 
not a long walk since there's so little sites and uh, if you drive on a motorcycle or something like that they do have a extra food storage thing right here uh, water fountain water hookup and this is the site I got and I kind of recommend it I mean this is my first time staying here and it's right on the water this is number seven I hadn't set up my tent yet but I've walked around I did do some uh, fishing a little bit ago, and all I had was a few creek chub uh, chasing like a few single hooks, a single hook rooster tail. I did chase it, try to nibble on it, but there wasn't anything big in there. Uh, so you probably have to go up or downstream to, to find something. So these are the ones that are inner, right here, like 11 right here. If you're away from the water, I wouldn't recommend these. Number eight's pretty cool. And number 10, this like up in the run around. Number nine right here is right on the end. I recommend this one. This one's pretty nice. Check that out. And then right off the campsite, campsite you've got uh, several trails you could go on. I did like six miles. I, I uh, walked up to, started on that Abrams Falls. See what's, what's going on here. Abrams Falls. I, I hiked up about three miles of it and came back. I think that's Abrams Falls is like 5.1 to get to it. So it'd be like a 10 mile hike. I think that's how that works because I hiked three miles and I wasn't, I was thinking, oh, if that's a round trip because I've done Abrams Falls on the other side and it's like a five mile hike or something like that round trip. But anyway, uh, there was a lot of bear scat on that <laughs> and they've closed down a lot of trails here in fall just because the bears are trying to fatten up for winter so they've been eating a lot of acorns so i was like the only person on the trail so i was like Whoa. <laughs> but uh black bears aren't too harmless or are harmless not really but <laughs> you just gotta they're wild animals so it's not like they're brown bears you know or something like that i didn't see any bears on the hike but i was a little a little nervous because i'm you don't want to go between a bear and its cub but it was really nice and uh quaint uh this is 12 if you want something right next to the bathroom there is a bathroom here it's primitive but it does have male and female bathrooms and i'll walk up here and show you it's a typical smoky mountain uh bathroom that they have uh in the men's it has one stall and one urinal and sink of course uh but they and then of course i didn't go in the, the females but it's got that as well and then uh you've got a, a place to wash your dishes here this is how if you haven't stayed in the smoky mountains this is how all of them are kind of set up it's got this thing on the outside where it just has a little mop sink in here so you could kind of wash up your dishes after you've cooked the meal So those those main ones that are good are those ones at the beginning. Like I said, I'll leave a link below because you have to uh, reserve online. There's no cash, just drive up. Even though there's been several people that are just driving through to check it out. As you can hear, it's like really quiet except for that car driving by. <laughs> uh, let's see. Last couple here. 13. It's close to the bathroom as well. They've got pictures for all these on the website, but the video is a lot better. So I thought I'd show you all these various campsites. We just kind of did a small little loop. We're back to two here. But this, these are the last two right here. Uh, 14 and 15 so these are kind of off the water here 15 
and 16. Go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. Like I said I have other camping videos. Uh, you can just search through my ar archive, hit uh, go to my channel and hit playlist and camping. And I have meal ideas and other stuff as well. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time in the Great Smoky Mountains. Thanks for watching.